bad, my Burberry bad. This is going to be a review of my Burberry bag, my Burberry bag. Whoa, yeah, my Burberry bag. Whoa, yeah, my Burberry bag. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that the little intro didn't freak you out, but uh, I thought it was something different this time around. Um, welcome back and today I have another video review for you of a bag that I have, I think, uh, picked up in July uh, this year and I have been using it for some time now, so I wanted to give you my honest opinion on, on this particular bag and what I think about it. I have it here, it's in its little dust bag. Um, it's from Burberry. And the model is called Sheldon and the color is called mint green so yeah so it's a bit of a different color for me and I went for it because I think it's absolutely gorgeous what I love about this bag is the functionality side I'll talk about that a bit and also what I love about it is the classic design it really has a classic kind of almost uh, um, a bit of a vintage design with this flap, at least this is how it looks to me. First, let's get some measurements done and uh, I apologize for the builder's uh, meter here. I didn't find uh, the ones that is usually used for measuring clothes, but I think this will do the trick. So if we look from this perspective, it's 25 centimeters, the height of the bag. Um, on the top, it's around 22. Uh, there about and the side would be around six centimeters for the main compartment which is in here and then around three centimeters for this compartment which is on the top and this brings me to the bag itself so how this is done so it's a cross shoulder bag um, you get a strap which is made out of leather the whole construction of the outside is leather and it says i was reading about this that it's kind of rubberized leather um the grain on it kind of reminds me of the prada safiano uh, leather but this is probably something else uh, if it is rubberized as i was reading then probably it has to have good um uh, it has to be resilient to uh, to the elements and actually I have worn this out in rain a couple of times I got caught in rain with this bag and I didn't have any problems whatsoever There is no staining Nothing on the bag itself. So anyway, so here is the strap um, It's pretty narrow. I would say around and actually let me measure that for you guys. So it's two centimeters um, so quite narrow and this bag becomes quite heavy because it is quite large and I'll show that when I put some things in it um, You have some adjustment here on the top. Oops. Sorry bump the camera there um, So one two three four five six six holes of adjustment The whole hardware on this bag is matted out kind of blacked out. Let me try to show you this here as you can see maybe now on the Come on zoom in I want to zoom in there we go you can see here on this piece uh, it's kind of a shiny black and I really like that and the same thing continues on all the pulls um, and on the main closing buckle here on the front uh, what I want to say about this strap is it is predominantly meant for somebody who is taller um, because as you can see, um, you know, it's quite long. Um, I can measure the drop for you guys, but you know, as you can see here, I think this demonstrates it quite okay-ish. Oh, let me throw it over. There we go, you see, it, it falls quite low. So if you're a, a shorter statue, this strap might not be, you know, perfect for you. Just putting that out there. Another thing on the strap, which is, I think maybe my main gripe with this bag is the strap is not detachable, it doesn't come with any hardware. Uh, not that you want to detach it, but 
you know, I have a feeling when it's kind of a, you know, like the Louis Vuitton bags or pretty much every shoulder bag has, they have a hooks on the outside here. This is just stitched in. And you see, this is how it attaches here with the stitching. This does not give me a lot of confidence to be completely honest with you. Um, that this is gonna, you know, kind of survive for really long. Although, I must say, I have the bag now for a couple of months, I loaded it up pretty heavy, and so far, no problem. So, it might be stitched good, and I'm just over as, you know, I'm over, kind of blowing this out of proportion. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to throw it out there. That's really my only gripe, and everything else about this bag, I really love. Um, I love how the piping is black on the sides. I love how the stitching is black on this bag. Um, I love, as I said, how the hardware is black. I love this little hook on the side where you can put a, a little charm on or you can attach something, you know, to it. Um, the zippers are great, you know, they're kind of attached with a leather longer pull, so it's really easy to open this bag. Um, it's very smooth, the zipper also, I must mention that. Has nice details, you know, a nice little Burberry logo here on the side of the bag. Uh, but it's gonna show it. There it goes. And the same on the other side here. So it's full of details. Little Burberry logo here on the top. And this is an actual lock, guys, that really, you know, it really works and comes with the key. Let me show you that. So this is how you open it. And then, you know, this is how you close it. Just push it in and it closes. There we go. And if you want to open it, you need to push it down and open it like this. Here, I usually would put in my phone or something that I need quickly accessible or my keys. Um, let me bring in my four key holder or clays or whatever you think. You see, it goes this way in. It, of course, will also go this way in. You know, so this, this pocket is wide enough and, you know, long enough to put this in here. I have here uh, an iPhone 6 screen protector, which by the way, um, you know, I'm not so happy about, but that's maybe for another video. But I just want to show you this. This is in its packaging. Um, you see, this is how it goes in easily. So this pocket, front pocket is really useful. Easy to get in and quite big for storing a lot of things. Then we come to the inside compartment, which I said it's pretty large, and this is how it opens up. It opens up quite wide, look at that. So it, once it's open, it's really easy accessible. What you have inside is you have a nice green leather pull, like from the same material that the bag is made out of. Again, the hardware also inside is black and out. Again, these details in all of these bags are amazing. So they could have easily put a normal silver zipper inside, they call it a day, but they didn't do so. They put a blacked out zipper as it's on the outside to match all the hardware. And I think that's really nice. There is of course the Burberry logo inside here. The zipper compartment is big enough to, again, let me take, again, this clay to see if I can put it in easily. Here we go from the side also or from the top and I can zip this in. What I have inside of this pocket guys is a little key that comes attached to this little leather piece which you can turn around there is a hole here and kind of loop it over itself and this key is for this little lock. So you can lock the front of your bag should you wish so um, I mean, it would detect from its functionality for me because I would need to unlock it, lock it, but you know, if you need that piece to be secure, um, you can do so and somebody might find that really useful. It's there if you need it, if you don't need it, you don't need it. And on the other side of the back from the front, you have two kind of slip pockets, you know, where you could potentially let me pull in my iPhone. So this is a normal 6, iPhone 6. Uh, S uh, and as you can see You can easily put it in one of these pockets They're wide enough. Actually, they would be big enough. I believe even for a 6s I mean for a 6 plus so the bigger iteration of the iPhone 
Um, the inside is lined with your, you know, traditional kind of Burberry lining, I would say. Um, and size-wise, it's really spacious. And this is where I come to the kind of, a, you know, why I maybe prefer this bag um, uh, compared to my Louis Vuitton Thomas bag, which I reviewed also on my channel. Uh, this bag is because it's wider here and, you know, taller altogether. It's just a bigger bag. Um, this can take easily a standard size iPad Air. This is iPad Air 2. Uh, and as you will see now, um, you can put the iPad Air 2 inside with room to spare. So it might not come on the camera, but this bag is pretty large. So I put an iPhone, uh, I mean an iPad Air 2 inside this bag. Let me take this cover. Put it next to it. Let me take a little uh, camera bag, which you know I store my Canon G7X, which I'm filming this on at the moment. And I'll put this in here. I don't know if it's now visible, but believe me, yeah, it's in, in here, guys. So in their bag. Um, let me take my mini pochette accessoire. That at the moment has some headphones. Um, my well known by now, if you follow my channel, product card holder. And a mini, I mean a clay in monogram. And my Chanel uh, free card holder. Uh, the, the classic one with the silver hardware. So all this is inside my clay. Uh, I'm not bothered now with the with the headphones so this is what's in the clay and I'll put that next to the camera so there we go um, and I'll also take my glasses which I use where I don't have the lenses in they're from the Tag Heuer and I think I showed them out before and I'll put that on the top here and I'll put my car keys in one of these pockets in the front. There we go. I'll return the key back in the back into the zipper pocket so I don't, you know, look for it. And I will put my keys, let's say, here on the top also. So that's now the interior. Um, the iPad. Um, the glass protector in its case, um, the glasses, the camera, and the mini pochette accessoire with all the wallets. Then we have the car keys and obviously my clay with my keys. And this is what all fitted in this easily. Let me just zip it up. There we go. And there is no real um, flaring on any side on this bag with all the things um, inside of this bag now but what it comes now is you know the head now it's pretty heavy the bag on itself is pretty heavy but now you know it's uh, I would say quite a heavy and there I go back to the strap discussion that I had um, what else yeah so let's use the front pocket to slip in the phone and this is actually where I put my phone because it's easy acceptable I mean accessible I don't need to open the zipper to get into my phone I can just you know get into it very quickly like this so this is the bag now fully loaded guys and as you can see this can be easy for somebody that doesn't need to carry a computer to work you can actually have this as a work bag um, if you're dressing pretty casually these do come obviously in more subtle colors should you want a black one a brown one um, but it I don't know if they're already available this you know I picked up in in July in one of in the Burberry outlet near to me in Austria so I do believe this is from an older collection 
but you know for the amount that they are selling them you know in the outlets I think they are super worth the investment um, I've been enjoying my tremendously I really really love this bag especially for the weekends where you know I go out for the full day and I want to take more stuff not just the wallet and the, you know the car keys but maybe also the iPad or something like that so I want to stay more connected I want to take more stuff with me I don't use it as a work bag because I do need to carry a computer daily um, but you know on the other side for somebody that doesn't need to this might be a really nice really nice option this is a gorgeous gorgeous bag with a lot of details guys uh, if you are able to pick one up do give it a go so Burberry Sheldon cross shoulder cross body bag um, highly recommended from me I love mine and I'm very happy to have picked it up I hope you have enjoyed my video and as always rate comment and subscribe and hit the like button if you like my videos um, thank you everybody for watching and for your continued support of my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye for now